I am not fast. Yeah, no kidding! Go, 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 go! Was that in 3D? No. It is available in 3D, but we oh. didn't watch it in 3D. Oh. I don't think we needed 3D. No, I don't think so. So what did you think of the movie, Grandma? I loved it. I thought it was really, really good. I, uh... I'm not an expert on animation, you know, and the artwork involved in it, but I thought they did probably deserved the Oscar. The story was interesting, and the character creations were done well, I thought. Okay. Their extra superpowers. I kind of also like the tip of the hat to the nerd, you know, to the really, really smart kid in school who never quite fits in, you know. Mm -hmm. That was that was well done. I thought Hero was uh, well represented. I finally figured out that it was really San Francisco, you know. In the well, future, sort of a, way in the future, maybe. <laughs> but, well, sort of a San Francisco, Tokyo plan. Yeah, San Fran Tokyo, they called it. San mm -hmm. Fran Tokyo. When they were flying over the Golden Gate, I was sure that we were in San Francisco. Well, but a lot of things had sort of an age oh, yeah. influence, or more than San Francisco has in real life, or at least today, at least. That's sort of set in the future. I enjoyed it very much. Well, again, it's based on a comic, so comic book. So all of the characters and the look of the characters and everything was all set before they made the movie. Um, and the, you know, their personalities and everything was all set. I was not that taken with it as much as you were. Um, the design and everything of it was very interesting. The animation was very good. Um, I thought that the writing, the it was not very funny. Uh, not that it needed to be necessarily funny, but it was not very humorous. Uh, what humor there was was the one joke of the Baymax pudgy robot. <laughs> And that's because he looked like a big balloon. <laughs> I mean, that's the majority of the, of the humor throughout the entire movie was just that sort of one note, that one joke uh, through the whole movie. Well, it was the scotch tape on the pinholes. Well, but again, that was him. That was again, yeah. That was the, all the humor revolved around him. Right. And was not everybody else was not very funny. I mean, they had some some other characters which were meant to be funny, but they weren't very funny. The, the writing was not very funny. Um, you also sort of knew where, even though there were a few plot twists here and there, you sort of knew where it was going from the beginning of the movie. You knew how it was going to end. When we found out who the bad guy was, I also had the feeling that his daughter was not, she was out there in cyberspace somewhere waiting to re-enter the real world, you know? Exactly. So that wasn't a surprise to me when they, when Baymax had sensed, sensed a patient out there, someone who needed his help, is a, that's what his sensors are set for. Again, it's an animated movie. It's not going to have a sad ending. They're going to try and tie it up as neatly as possible at the end. So, again, you, while there were a twist here and there, you sort of knew that the good guys were going to win out in the end. Uh, it's, well, of course, it's not required that it have an unusual ending for an animated movie. No, but it, make, it makes it <laughs> not as interesting. 
as it's going along. I hear you. If you sort of know, okay, well, they're going to win here, they're going to do this, and, uh, have a little setback, but then they And each one of them, when they were captured or in danger, they had a thought that allowed them to deal with it. You know, whatever it was was the problem. They figured a way out of it. Yeah, I mean, which you kind of expected too, as you pointed out. You know, that wasn't a surprise. In a in a way, uh, if the the film had any sort of message, it probably was that uh, these superheroes, real superpowers, were their, their brains, brains and their imagination. That's right. Creativity. Yes. That, and when they had real, real trouble, it wasn't their superpowers that got them out of it, it was their brains that got them out of it. And the addition of the cartoon at the beginning. That was, that was fun. Well, they do that on, on most that. Disney movies. Do they? Yeah. Good Disney for them. Animated Good for Disney. A little cartoon. <laughs> um, that was fun. I enjoyed seeing a little cartoon every now and then. So overall, what do you, what do you say? What do you think about the I enjoyed it very much. It was very creative. had some good things to say about the value of intelligence. Now, even though it is a very crazy idea that someone may come up with, um, there might be some value to it, you know. There might be something there. You don't want to just dismiss it out of hand as uh, craziness. As, uh, a lot of very famous scientists were thought of as crazy when they were uh, when they would present their ideas, you know, like Galileo and folks like that. People of his their generations would say, "What? No, <laughs> the man is crazy. Don't listen to him." Yeah. Okay. And the, 